The materials you'll need today are a ruler, nails, a hammer, a picture frame, and a marker or pencil. I got this picture frame from a thrift store and I just picked it because it has wood that is flat and will be easy to hammer nails in. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this apart. This picture frame ended up being a lot of work to take apart, but it is really sturdy so I'm glad I got this particular one. You could easily get a picture frame that is a lot easier to take apart and will still work just fine. Alright, once you have your picture frame all nice and clean, we're going to go through with our ruler and a marker or pencil and measure out how far apart we want our, uh, our nails to be. And for me, I use a heddle bar. This is a little bit more than beginner, but if you plan on using one of these, it would be good to measure the distance between each of these slots. So this here is about a half inch from point to point. So that is how far I'm going to space my nails. You do or don't have to use a heddle bar. If you're doing a big project, it just makes it easier. So I'm going to start a quarter of an inch in. So I don't want it right on the edge. And let's see. I'm going to go for about the middle of the frame. And so then from there, just line it up make it look pretty straight here and I'm just going to go in and mark every half inch. Okay. And then there is a little bit of space over here. It looks like it is almost a full half inch, so it's not going to be completely even on my frame, but that is okay. And so I'm going to do the same over here. I want my dots to line up though, so I'm going to come in a quarter of an inch off this side this time. Okay. And then go across and mark a half inch the other way. And here I've got the clasp from the picture frame. So my frame isn't laying flat, but I think I want to keep this for storage later. So we're just going to have to deal with it being a little wobbly. Half inch. All right. So now we have all of our dots and we just need to hammer our nails in. I like to use these short nails. They are approximately three quarters of an inch and it has a nice flat little top. That helps your uh, yarn stay on your loom later. You just want to come in and hammer in all your nails. Take the time to make sure you get them in line and hammer them about the same width in and it'll make your projects easier in the future.
I put a little cloth under the frame on this side because it has that clasp in the back. Uh, this will help so my desk doesn't get ruined and it'll make the hammering easier to do. And there we have it. That is our loom that we can use for weaving now. Hope you enjoyed my video. Like and subscribe for more.